Go. Hey, it's Mr. Aiden here. We're uh, going to revisit that hydrogen gas bomb experiment, and uh, let's get it going, and then I'll talk about it. What we have here is, uh, is zinc solid was in our balloon. Our six molar hydrochloric acid was in our flask and we're producing hydrogen gas and it's a highly exothermic. This flask is a really hot, highly exothermic reaction. Let's take a look at the reaction up on the board while we start keep up with the hydrogen gas. We have solid zinc, absolutely no charge, combined with a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, and it's going to produce aqueous zinc, which means dissolved zinc, and pure hydrogen gas. And that hydrogen gas, as we know, is uh, extremely explosive and we're going to be able to, uh, to explode that hydrogen bomb. If you take a look real quick, it's uh, the balloon's blowing up. It's still reacting, highly vigorous reaction, highly exothermic, really hot reaction, really hot reaction. And as we know, hydrogen gas is lighter than air, so our hydrogen gas balloon should float, should float, hopefully, to prove it's hydrogen gas, and we'll actually prove it's hydrogen gas by blowing it up. It's, uh, it's a great reaction. So let me uh, let me put a cap on this guy real quick. And I'll all boys stay candidates. Don't forget to come to guidance. Tie him up. Be here by Let's 345. Yep. All boys we got stay hydrogen candidate. gas. Don't forget. Come to Definitely floating. It's lighter than even helium gas, and it'll flow all, all the way up to my uh, all the way up to the ceiling. And we're gonna blow it up. We're going to put it on the end of this guy here. I'm going to wear safety glasses for this. And uh, you can bring it this way. And I'll blow it up. I'll get my flame. Let's take a look. 